Oh hi, welcome back. Well last time, we created arrays by auto-indexing, and we also indexed into loops, and saw how many times they ran. I promised last time we'd take a closer look at that. Why? Well, if you're interested in taking the CLAD exam, or the Certified LabVIEW Associate Developer exam, this is a common topic. So, you can consider this to be a CLAD prep VI High episode. I will too. So to start with, we'll get rid of all this, and on the front panel, I'm just going to put down an array that I had on my clipboard. Sometimes it's handy to keep that on there, but really only in this use case. I'm going to take this array over, wire it into a for loop, so it's auto-indexed. I create an indicator, and we saw last time that when I run this, it will give a 3 because the iteration terminal starts at 0. So 0, 1, 2, 3. But let's try something. What if I hold down Control, click and drag, and hover over an element, right click, go to Data Operations, and delete that element. Now I have a one dimensional three element array. And if I wire it to the border, to perform auto-indexing, the question is, how many times will this loop run? Think about it. I'll run it, and it runs two times. Okay, it looks like it ran the size of a smaller array. Let's check that. I'll just create another array, add a couple elements to it, auto-index the input, run it. Indeed, that's true. Okay. Well, what if I do this? What if I come along and put a 2 in here? Now what will this give me? Well, I run it. It gives me a 1. Okay. So I force this loop to run only two times. Let's do one more step. I'll change this to 12. Run it again, and we go back to 2. Okay, so what's happening? We see that we've distilled a rule in LabVIEW. The number of times that LabVIEW runs a for loop is equal to either the number going into the count terminal or the number of elements in the smallest array being auto-indexed. So what if I went to this smallest array, right-clicked on it, and disabled indexing? Now what would happen? You got it. It's looking at this array now as the smallest array. Play around a little more with this in LabVIEW and brush up on this concept. You're likely to see it on the CLAD exam. For other CLAD exam prep topics, go look at some other VI High episodes, and as always, take a look at the Six Clear LabVIEW Fundamentals course. It's nice.